What's going on guys? It's your boy Freestyle Swordsman, aka Seth. And just a little FYI before I get going, I got a guest star over here who won't get, won't be on camera, but if you hear any laughing, that's my new girlfriend. Uh, anywho, come to you guys tonight with a uh, review of the Cold Steel OSS, or it may be, it may be pronounced OS, uh, like the Japanese term for respecting them dropping shit because I worked all day. Uh, some general uh, information about the knife. The length is... The blade is eight and a quarter. Overall, it's thirteen and three eighths. It's Japanese OS eight, even though it's made in Taiwan. I don't know how they got that going. Uh, it's about eight ounces, eight and a half ounces, which is really light for a knife this size if you compare it to a K bar. And then the handle is five and a eighths. It's Cray X material. Uh, I did a lot of uh, what's the word research on this before I grabbed it on Amazon. I don't fuck with eBay no more since that fiasco with the cold steel tub. Uh, lose on the other day but uh pretty cool knife they compared it a lot to the k-bar series this isn't a usmc this is the modified tanto version of course you know my favorite fixed blade this is growing on me though it kind of reminds me of that knife from terminator 2 you remember the, the bar scene where the guy gets stabbed in the shoulder because it has a little ring but this one has an opening pretty cool the back edge is slightly sharpened so when you stab someone it doesn't hesitate as much and my girlfriend's probably like, oh my God, what did I get into? <laughs> she just smiled at me like, I love you, but you're crazy. Anywho, uh, doesn't have a blackened blade, which I kind of wanted, but you know, Cole still don't do that very often, I don't think. Still cool. Uh, worked about the $65 that you pay for it. A few things to notice is the, the hand guard is rubber. Some people don't like that. Some people don't care. If, you know, I don't really give a shit. Uh, you got a textured handle, kind of like on the cold steel uh, Kobun. You got a genuine full tang. It goes all the way down. It's light. It's, it's light as hell, too. It's a very quick knife. And I was looking for a fixed blade I could carry uh, with a, obviously, a modification. Where I put the sheath at. I'm going to remove this strap part because it's, it's a compression fit. So you don't really need this part right here. And uh, this one does not dull the blade like the Coburn or the original one for this. I tested it a few times a night and uh, it does not dull the blade. There's no movement. The edge isn't touching the inside of the sheath, so that's a good thing. Anywho, I was looking for a fixed blade I can carry on sweatpants and shorts that won't weigh my pants down to where I'm walking around looking like I'm a rapper or something. And uh, so, and anyway, she's laughing. I told her I got jokes in these videos. So there's a piece you can order on Amazon. You can actually add like a clip to this. So I'm gonna take this piece off, get a clip. And uh, when I'm off or whatever, I'll carry this. This is easier to carry than the K-Bar just because of the weight. There's a big weight difference in these two blades even though they're similar. Now what I will say is this one isn't gonna be near as tough as far as the handle and even the blade still. This is 1095 and this is uh, OS 8. But it's purpose built. It's meant for one thing, and you guys can guess what that is. It's meant for. It's not meant for uh, bushcrafting or uh, batoning wood and stuff like that. This is meant to eliminate threats in your near vicinity. So, uh, quick little video. Better look at the sheath. You got plenty of ringlets and uh, mounting options for Molly gear and stuff like that. And I'm uh, probably going to leave this as is because I don't care for too much for the back end to be sharpened. It's sharpened enough for what it was intended for. The main edge, of course, you guys know. I did my sharpening on it and it's scary sharp. And that's it. Under five minutes. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.